Eji, Eta, Erin. I'm drawn to probably the unusual place that it takes in reality. So most of the things that I photograph kind of like, in a way, they create their own reality within, within reality. What I mean by that is that it's like uh, an indirect conflict that I see in front of me. And over a period of time, I became a photographer and began to understand that now I could document these unusual things. So that's how I got into that area of photography. Then this art dimension, languages form up to kind of like, it's, it's almost like a world in itself. Continents, different latitudes, different cultures, all of that's within the area that I work. So I have to always take all of that into consideration in terms of what I'm doing. Because most of the time, nobody have a clue about who I am, what I'm all about, or anything else like that. So that works to my advantage in terms of having either direct access or, or completely ignoring. So I have, you know, gotten over a period of time where now I have to like take time out from everything and look back on myself. Which is now, and I'm in that phase now, looking back at myself. In 1968, 69, my world in photography was coming to an end at the very beginning of it. In terms of my knowledge, what did I need to do for, for the future? And I was at the crossroads of everything. So I made a decision to basically buy out, buy myself out of servitude. Okay. There's a lot of words in that area, right? Yeah, yes, yeah. And I was going to have to rely on all of my wits instead mm -hmm. of selling my wits to somebody else. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of like an interesting, stupid ass decision I made. Right? I had a motorcycle, mm -hmm. I had plenty of girlfriends. I had party things going on, I had stashed enough money on the side where, you know, like, I had a nice buffer, mm -hmm, right, mm -hmm. to figure out what I wanted to do. When I came to New York, I realized early on, you got to keep moving this town. Mm -hmm. you, know, you, you know, you don't sit down there and, you know, worry about something. You got to do something about it before you even get to that. So, you know, I moved off into this world here where... I needed somebody around me. I need I needed protection. I realized mm -hmm. I was too intelligent for mm -hmm. them folks out there, mm -hmm. and you know they, they don't like that. No. Mm -hmm. Especially didn't go through their system yeah. to be intelligent. I really realized early on that I was in trouble mm -hmm. once I got to that level of knowledge mm -hmm. of knowing that. Mm -hmm. So I got the opportunity to start my own nonprofit art organization. Mm -hmm. Most of, see, when I came up, there were, there were people I could, like, you know, I could look mm -hmm. at. I could get there. They got there. They already there. You know, they're doing yeah. pretty good there. Yeah. What, what direction do I have to take in order to get there? Mm -hmm. It's not so much getting there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the direction you got to go in order, in order to get there. Yeah. Yeah. In terms of most black kids... Mm -hmm. Look at where they're going. I came up through that same system, man. And when I came up, there was diversity. Yeah. Okay, diver there was still diversity. But over the period of time, of course it's going to change. Mm -hmm. How does the education system do it, deal with that change now? Yeah. If, it don't, if it doesn't move with that change. Yeah. So, when I started this nonprofit art organization, it wasn't about diversity. It was about the individual. Bringing the individuals together. Yeah. 
on the common need or it's the common cause or whatever stimmy you want to use. Mm -hmm. Have something to bring those individuals in. They, they, would, they would communicate. Miss Kelly Groy came to me and said, uh, I would like to do a project with you. It turned out to be a reality. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time in no time that somebody had decided to do something for me. Mm -hmm. So this is like an absolute honor and I'm so appreciative that it come to fruition. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be a rather interesting adventure for me.